Hello everybody. Do you remember these extremely hairy dudes that I was breeding? The Philotherma yuccas? Well, they just shed their skins to the seventh instar. Which is not the final instar because they have eight instars in total. Despite that, I thought it would be nice to show you my progression. Because these caterpillars are starting to look really nice and unusual. Don't be mistaken, they look very fluffy and I know you will have the urge to cuddle them but below these cool looking stylish hairs they have a set of smaller hairs that will irritate your skin and cause a lot of itching so yeah if you grab these too tightly they can cause rashes and skin problems I found out the hard way so I'm not trying to pet them anymore because I don't think that's going to be good for your health. Despite that, it's a really amazing looking caterpillar. I'm just showing you one of them, but behind the scenes I have 15 of them, which is uh, a lot if you consider how much they eat and how much effort they take to raise. And I think maybe in about one month they will be fully grown. I mean, they grow quite slow. They will eat almost anything, including sweet gum or liquid umber including oak or Quercus, which is one of the leaves it's sitting on right now. They will also take reed, aka Phragmites. Uh, let's think, what other things did I give them? Oh yeah, they also love Bramble, aka Rubus. They also love Laurel Cherry, aka Prunus Laurocerasus. Basically, you can feed them anything, especially from Rosacea, Phagacea. I know I'm throwing around some scientific terms, but most of you hardcore hardcore breeders will know these things. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to go take it back inside. This was Bart with the Philotherma Yuccas.